Probability is kind of an interesting topic. It's, it's the mathematical way of trying to quantify uncertainty. All right, if I flip a coin, toss it up in the air, I don't know how it's going to land. I've got no idea. But I can talk about the likelihood of getting a certain result based on what I, I know about coins, for example. That's what we mean by a probability. All right, so to to get started, we have both math, most math classes, right? We'll start off with some definitions. Right? An experiment is a process where the results are uncertain and they can be repeated. So my coin toss is a perfect example. I don't know how that coin is going to land. The, ult the ultimate result is, is unclear. And I can repeat this over and over and over again. All right, now, we talk about an event... An event is any collection of results or outcomes of an experiment. For example, getting heads is an event. Getting heads twice would be an event. Right now, a simple event is an outcome that can't be broken down into smaller components. So again, kind of going back to my last example there, getting heads is a simple event. There's, there's no way I can make that any simpler. Right? Getting heads twice that is not a simple event because it's made up of two parts, the first result and the second one. And finally, the sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an event. All right, so a lot of definitions, right? Let's look at some examples. Let's say we're talking about rolling a single die, right? What, what's going to happen? Well, first, this is an experiment, just like flipping my coin, right? The results are uncertain, and I can do it over and over again, right? What are some of the possible outcomes? Matter of fact, I want to talk about the sample space, so I'd like to list all of the possible outcomes. Well, what are all the possible results when you roll a single die? Well, I could get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. So that is the sample space. That is the list of all possible outcomes of a single event resulting from our conducting this experiment. Right, so how about how about the next one? Rolling two dice. Right, what what would be the the sample space here? Well, here now when we say rolling two dice, well, what I'm thinking about is if, if you add the two results together, that that's your ultimate outcome. So what what are the possible outcomes? Well, the smallest number I can get would be a two. Right, that's what you get from rolling a one and a one. I can get a three. That's a one and a two, a four. I can get any number all the way up to uh, double sixes. That would be a 12. Right, so that would be my sample space for rolling two dice. Okay, so how about selecting a lottery number? Well, this one, we it's hard, it's hard to write the sample space because not all lotteries are the same, right? But... Uh, we think about just kind of a basic lottery. You you have uh, 40 numbers. You have to pick six of them. All right now, the sample space is going to be huge. The number of uh, the number of combinations of six numbers that I can choose from 40 is pretty darn large. All right, so I wouldn't want to try to write them all down, but they would be things like one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be one possible outcome. Uh, another outcome would be uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, right? And then, like I said, I don't want to close this here, right? Because there, there's a lot of them, right? And finally, selecting a fish from the lake. Here I, here I can't even make a list. I mean, the sample space is made up of all of the fish in the lake, but uh, I have no way of writing that down, right? Of actually putting this in a, in a list or a roster form. And that's okay, because you'll see as we go along here. Uh, there are still going to be ways for us to talk about this, even though we can't actually list out that sample space. Okay, so those are our basic terms, our basic concepts. All right, so in the next lecture, uh, we're going to start talking about actual calculations. How can we calculate probabilities given certain information about an experiment?